Hey there, how's it going? I, t I take no pleasure in this video and stuff. Uh, I won't. I won't talk too much though. But uh, yeah, this is uh, this is another uh, little another journalism video and stuff. Uh, but yeah, so I guess uh, Andrew Callahan got into some deep trouble and stuff. Uh, uh, there's a there's allegations against him and. You know, he has a few accusers and stuff, and it just, it, it, it doesn't look good, though. So, um, if you, if you don't know who Andrew Callahan is, Andrew Callahan is the main guy, I, I, I would say, used to, um, uh, do all the Channel 5 videos, uh, such as Fishlot or, um, Talladega, uh, what else did he do? He did, like, he, he I want to address the, like, it just, like, I, I didn't know this about Andrew when I reacted to one of his videos, uh, Fish Lot, because I was just excited that he covered Fish, because as a security guard, this was before Fish Lot, I worked a Fish show, and I used to just, I used to talk about, like, how wild of a fish show is it's like jesus you know it's like i remember I, I still like as a security guard i still kicked out four people at at the fish show that i did and stuff and i thought it was so great that um andrew and channel five did you know like covered and showed people what uh how a fish show is and stuff and uh like I'm guessing Andrew's probably been like this for a while, and I, you know, and like I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure no one, no one could, could like, could have guessed this. You know what I mean and stuff. And Andrew has made uh, an apology video about it and stuff, though. But what there is is uh, some other videos that have circled around the internet of one of Andrew's accusers. I, I think even both of his accusers have made videos. I, 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 I'm not sure if I was watching the correct person. That's the second one, though. But the first one is named... Uh, well, I, I, I... Well, it's all over the internet. They're all just first names. You know, I'm, I'm not going to put a last name. You know. Uh, just uh, names Caroline is the first accuser, which is in the, the video you're going to see. There is a second accuser named Dana, and that's all she called herself online and stuff. Uh, you know, you know, like, don't harass anyone and stuff. You know, I I, I need to put like I like I'm, I just want to say that just you know just don't harass anyone. Though, so, but um, the sec so a, a lot of people already know about the first video that's already on is on TikTok and stuff though but there's a story on the on the second person uh dana so i guess uh she drove uh she drove him home one day um you know like at a you know like they were at a bar or whatever and stuff and you know like andrew drinks and stuff though but i guess she drove was driving him home and stuff and he tried to like grab her hand put it down his pants and stuff and which is uh, it's, it's it's cringe just talking about this and stuff and um like and and that's pretty much what I've learned so far and stuff and like how I'm looking at my notes right here um but there's also another thing um Andrew Callahan actually uh I want to say it's show he he just got a show on HBO and freaking and it's it's just like like his show just came out on hbo though but i don't imagine it's gonna keep going or something though maybe they'll just have someone else or something or i i, I think it's a, a documentary movie i can't remember though but uh tim heidecker the producer and everything um for the show on hbo um he's like you'll see that video um but i mean i i guess he like he has well you know a lot of people would just drop drop him, you know, and stuff. So, yeah, he I guess he has no uh, plans to continue business with Andrew and stuff. So, um, yeah, I guess Andrew's in a 12-step program and he's going to therapy and stuff, which is really good. I think that 
that's a very mature way to go at it and stuff. And, you know, it's just like, I'm, I'm glad he's getting help for himself. Uh, it's just that, like, it's just, it's just so bad and stuff. Like, you're, you're it just, it, it's very bad. So, and, you know, he's, it's going to take a while for, for these ladies to, you know, like, they're going to need therapy too and stuff. And it's, like he i th in my opinion i think he's taking the right uh, like he like he's like he's saying the right stuff about taking the 12 step program getting therapy sessions i guess it's you know it's a start and stuff though but that really doesn't that it, it's I, I still don't condone it you know though it's it's just like it's bad you know it's just rape is bad just it's all bad Harassment's bad. It's all bad, cause you know it's just it it, it just is. Like coerce, co coercing someone on and on, you know, it's like you know, drunk and stuff is just bad. You know, it's just. Uh, all right, so let me just uh, continue on to the videos. Never in a million years thought that I would be making this video, and I'm shaking because I've tried a couple different times and haven't been able to get my point across but um i don't like seeing abusers get platforms and my abuser andrew callahan also known as all gas no breaks channel 5 and whatever his new hbo show is called i forget um has been plastered all over my news feed and i've tried to come to him person to person and try to get him to take accountability for what he did but his version of what happened the night that he assaulted me is so skewed so i will tell you that he did eventually get consent and that's the main point is that he eventually got consent because he wore me down. He told me he needed a place to stay for the night. He had some sort of falling out with one of his crew members or whatever. And I was very clear about the fact that we are not hooking up. He gets in my bed and wears me down to the point where I eventually do agree to do things that I wasn't proud of. And I wasn't proud of them and thought it was my fault for so long that I continued to be nice to him after the situation. He wouldn't leave my house the next morning. Um... And then as time went on and I processed things, I thought, you know what, just because eventually I said, okay, whatever, because I was trying to just get the whole night over with so that it could be morning so that he could leave. Um, it's, it doesn't discount the fact that I told him no. So, um, I told him no so many times prior to this. I said, I'm tired. I'm not really feeling it. I came up with any excuse that I possibly could to just get him off of me. And he still found a way to coerce me into things that I didn't want to do and this is really hard for me to say I never thought I would come forward but it's even more hard to have to relive the trauma that I endured every single day by seeing this man as a social justice warrior as someone who cares about human rights get a platform you shouldn't be supporting him and at the end of the day like I've told close friends of mine I've tried coming out about this before and he texted me saying that it basically ruined his life and that his life was over now because of things that I said and other women have come forward to me but this is my first time publicly talking about it on a platform like TikTok because I hope it gets traction I hope people listen to me I hope that if something similar has happened to you that you know that that's not your fault it wasn't my fault what happened to me just because I eventually caved this is so hard to do, but I eventually, you know, I was really hoping that he would eventually take accountability, but he just texted me this skewed version of what he thought had happened. And in that moment, it wasn't fight or flight, it was freeze. I froze and I couldn't control my body anymore. Not to mention, he got me really drunk that night. He was trying to buy me all kinds of the best kinds of tequila at the dive bar we were at. Um, and a lot of people don't believe me. I've got receipts, I've got photos of us, I've got text messages, but you shouldn't need that. You should believe me and you should stop supporting Andrew Callahan. Um, I just want to clarify a couple things. Um, we, you know, have no professional relationship with Andrew at this, at this time and, and have no plans going forward to have um, any, any um, relationship with him. Um, our role with him is we produce the film that a lot of you guys have uh, seen. Um, you know, there's been a little confusion about the Channel 5 name. That's Andrew's uh, name, Channel 5. It has nothing to do with Eric and I's 
um, Channel 5 name. That was a bit of confusion for, for us as well. But um, we did produce the movie, you know, and I, I feel terrible that this film now has these allegations tied to it because some very good people worked very hard on it. Um, but it's just a movie, and I want to say that we believe these women uh, that came forward and, and, of course, totally condemn the type of behavior that Andrew's being accused of. Um, and I, I believe that's up to Andrew to uh, address these allegations and, and do so openly and honestly. And I, I, really, um, I really hope he does, you know, do that as soon as possible. Um, and that's really all I have to say about it uh, right now. Um, I'm not going to be, we're not going to talk about it during the show. That's why we didn't start with the opening. But yeah, as you see, uh, Tim's, uh, you know, just like speechless about it and stuff too. I feel like a lot of people were kind of speechless about Andrew Callahan and everything because like he had a, like he, like he had a good rep, like a good rep, uh, a reputation for him and it just you know it's, it's very true like you know the stain of uh of the collaborators and stuff like that you know just like tim says there's a like there's a difference between andrew and channel five channel five is not andrew though but it's just like it, it's kind of like the separation that they do have to take and stuff though and you know just it, it's very heartbreaking and stuff um but you know i hope Honestly, I I hope even better for like what happened to the people that he affected and stuff. You know, it's just like it's just you know where do we come go from here? It's just time and therapy and help is my is my opinion on it and stuff. Like like I it it just looks bad and it's just like man, you you just can't condone these kind of acts and stuff, even though that the right steps are t going forward and being mature about it, there's no, there's no excuse and stuff. And, and, you know, it's like, like you got to agree with everyone that, you know, um, that there's just no excuse and stuff like, and what can he do when you hear about this? It's just like, you know, it's just like I've only I've only dug down and only like just found two, uh, like from his allegations though. But you know, not not very the not the happiest little video or not the best uh, journalism video. You know, but you know, it's just this is one that uh, it just breaks my heart to do because it's like. All right. Um, I never thought I'd make a video like this, but um, I think there's an important conversation to be had. And I just want to be fully accountable, honest and uh, transparent with all of you guys. So I'd like to start by thanking every single person who's came out uh, in the past week um, to speak about different ways in which my behavior has made them feel um, uncomfortable or pressured during a sexual situation. And to people who said that I've made unwanted advances and uh, had a hard time with rejection. Um, I'm sure this was not easy to do. It's never easy to speak out and it was uh, hard for me to hear as well because to be honest with you up until this point I didn't even really realize that I had this pattern that had affected multiple people um, I'd also like to apologize for my silence. Um, I think that when This stuff first came out. I was in a state of denial and shock um, I was you know just riding the high for my movie that just came out and then within 48 hours I was denounced by my closest collaborators and uh, my name was printed in, in, in 40 different news outlets uh, next to the words sexual misconduct. And I just kind of spiraled into a mental health crisis. Uh, I'm okay now, but I don't really think this is about me. This is about the people that I've affected. So I just want to express my complete sympathy, respect, and uh, support for anyone who I've done wrong by. And I really want to do better and be fully accountable for everything that I've done. So that being said, I want to make a few things clear. Um, I've always taken no for an answer. Um, as far as consent, I've never uh, overstepped that line. Um, but, you know, I think I want to have a more nuanced and important conversation about power dynamics, pressure, and uh, coercion. 
because, you know, like I said, I think for, for a long time, I was behaving in a way that I actually thought was normal. Um, I thought that, you know, going home from the bar alone made you a loser. Um, I thought that persistence was a form of flattery. And I thought that, you know, if at first somebody was reluctant, you know, they're playing hard to get, just try harder. And if you think someone's feeling you, you know, make a physical advance and uh, see if they go with it. And I think that especially I realized when so many uh, young people, especially young men, rushed to defend me uh, when this stuff first started coming out, that this type of sex pest behavior is normalized. And a lot of people think this stuff is normal when I don't think that it is. And I think that I want to be fully responsible for not having a fluid understanding of consent and what enthusiastic two-way consent looks like. Um, that being said, a lot of the things that have been said online about me uh, are not true. A lot of things are missing really important contextual information that I think would change people's interpretation of a lot of these situations. But I'm not here to invalidate anybody's lived experience. Uh, if you feel pressured, you know, that's just what it is. I hope that young people and young men in particular can use my mistakes to learn and uh, move through life with a better understanding of consent. Um, as far as what I have planned, I'm not really sure what comes next. I mean, obviously, you know, reporting is my one true love and I'm 25 years old and I have my whole life ahead of me. But I really think that I need to do some serious work on myself and uh, figure myself out. So I'm gonna start therapy sessions pretty much immediately. Um, also, not to blame alcohol, but I truly believe that uh, alcohol was a contributing factor to my poor decision making. And I think that alcohol in general has had a devastating impact on my life. So I think I'm going to uh, make the decision to join the 12-step program for Alcoholics Anonymous. And during this journey into sobriety, I want to take a serious step back from public life and, like I said, figure myself out. Um, and I hope that this reaches uh, the ears of anyone who's felt affected by me. Um, I'd love to reach out to you or you can reach out to me even just for me to say I'm sorry. And uh, I really apologize and I appreciate you all. Um, I also want to apologize to um, my closest collaborators, you know, my friends, my family, and people who will have to wear this stain on their career forever. Um, you guys don't deserve this, and uh, I love you guys. Uh, that being said, uh, if you never want to watch Channel 5 again, um, I understand. Um, I hope you remember the uh, missions of radical empathy and uh, media literacy uh, that we have tried to put into the world through our, through our coverage. Um, all right, that's all I want to say. So, yeah, that's what's happened and stuff. And I'm guessing it's probably just going to develop more and stuff, and we'll just have to look into it and stuff. Um, but damn, man. Oof. All right, so, you know, uh, I guess uh, this is the end of the video. So, uh, I, I I guess have a good one, everyone. Um, like I, you know, if you're if you're a victim and stuff, you know, it's it's very hard because like you know, uh, like I even want to mention about like the the person with the TikTok video and stuff that like seeing a person with a platform and stuff and knowing that this person did this to you is very stressful and you know. It's, who wouldn't want to like just talk about it and stuff and you know reaching out is hard and stuff you know it's just uh it's bad so all right but you know if uh if you're a victim go go get some help out with like what however you can find it and stuff like i don't like 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 i know there's all kinds of help you can get though but it's just you know go get the help if you need it and stuff like there's there's always someone that that'll listen and you know um, ah god all right stay safe out there everyone Perfect. hey thanks for watching come hit that like and subscribe come take a look at the new merch shop and everything got some mugs get, come get yourself a t-shirt if you want you know just Hell, come join the Discord, got a Facebook group, come join me on Twitter. Everything that, uh, all of my socials are going to be in the description right below. So, uh, thanks for coming, man.